Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, CIX are back with what seems like to be like a summer concept. And I really do feel like a fool for a few weeks ago saying that, you know, I felt like a boy group didn't do enough summer concept anymore. And well, this year they're kind of like proving me wrong. This summer, many, many groups are coming back with a summer concept and I really like it. So if you've watched some of my previous reaction to CIX, you might know that I really, really like them, but I've grown to like them even more um, through the um, program that they have on M2 or something. Like there's this reality show where they're like trying to escape hell during six episodes. And I watched this, uh, to kind of like prepare myself for this comeback, you know? And I'm like, dude, I liked them before, but I love them even more now. And honestly, I would recommend people who are trying to get into them. I would really recommend watching that show. And Sungun was already my best before watching the show, but the show kind of like reinforced the idea that yeah, he is my best, but I still have no idea who my best record is. It's just like impossible to have a bias wrecker in there. I mean, I don't know if you guys have one, but I just love him more. I just, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't. Anyway, so I watched the teaser videos for this and I was like, the first time I heard it, I was like, hmm, okay. They didn't respond much <laughs> of the song. So it's hard to make an opinion based on just that. But like the more I listened to it, the more it got ingrained in my brain. So like the melody of like go beyond the wave part is just, it's just there. All right, so without any further ado, I have the English captions on wave, let's go. I not gonna lie, have high expectations for the music video because of Jungle. Jungle set the bar very high. Yeah, it looks high quality. <laughs> This card and tendy hair on him. Do they just read anxiety? See, that's the part that was stuck in my head. Dude, every time he comes on screen, I'm like, What other skill is he gonna show us? Who would look good in a catastrophe like that, honestly? I mean, not me. You guys. Wow. Am I delusional or it, this is giving me a mix of Astro and 80s?
That escalated really quickly. What the hell? Does this have something to do with their uh, Tita Vito's is in a school in uniform? I'm sorry I'm not talking about the actual song and music video for now. I'm, I, I seriously cannot move on from the last few frames, like the few seconds of the music video because of how it just takes you out of the happiness that you just gone through. This is just shocking on just like a different level. This was brutal. The, the end was brutal, seriously. I think I'm trying to cope with the last frame by smiling and taking it with a light heart because otherwise I would be... Uh... That is... That is terrifying. So trigger warning, you know, I don't know if you've watched those videos or not, but like, does this, the last frame, have anything to do with the, the you know, whole suicide, uh, self-harm, Thing that there was that happened in the teaser videos that they had like the epilogue or something dude they, oh my god i'm so sorry i know this is not necessarily uh what you wanted to hear okay i'm gonna try to kind of move on from that part that was really shocking and uh go back to a more light-hearted type of energy i love the song i think i think it was pretty telling you know uh, from my reaction, but like it just has those good vibes. It's so it's so weird because like the song seems very upbeat and very energetic and very just like good vibes overall. But some of the lyrics are like kind of hard hitting. It feels like even though it's very colorful, it's very you know uplifting, it's very energetic, it's very bright, etc. etc. It does hold the message of like, we will go against our fate, like keep running even though you're tired, do not give up, keep going, we'll, we'll make it together, we will never stop. And the wave is like the hurdle that they have to go past. I believe in the future of freedom. Holy crap. This is yet another one of those music videos, but come back where if you don't put the lyrics on, you would be oblivious of what the meaning of the or the meaning of the song. The music video is almost a distraction from how deep the lyrics and the meaning of the song is. Like it's very distracting because of how colorful it is, but the message within the lyrics are a lot more is a lot more deep than what I thought it would be. On the boat they are trying to save Yomi, right? Oh my god. This is like giving me the power of hope and friendship and just how strong uh, people's bond can be and it can go beyond the wave of fate. Like their bond are so strong that they're willing to go against the fate and fight for their friends. So there's a few frames during the music video where they're trying to save Yongi, right? And he's the and he's the one that at the end is on the hospital bed. This whole thing was like a roller coaster of emotion. Uh, not that it is bad in any way, but it's just not something that I was expecting coming in today. I was just expecting this to be like a light, light-hearted type of uh, summer concept, and uh, that the realization that it is much deeper hit me like a like a strong wave, definitely. All right, so if I remove the context of the music video. I just really like the song. I love the composition of it. I like how there's the, like a specific pattern that is being followed. So like it makes it easier for me to like process the song. The music video is absolutely stunning. It is once again another freaking masterpiece. I gotta say I liked most of the music videos so far, but like Jungle and Wave have just been on a much different level. The quality that is being put in here cinematographically uh, and even just like the effect and everything, the color palette, it is so magical, it is so ethereal. Everything about this, everything is a masterpiece once again. Prize. Honestly, don't be surprised if this music video gets into my top 10 at the end of the year for like best music videos of the year because it's simply stunning. It is fantastic. Also, I really do feel like that this time around, uh, you know, part wise and everything, everything is so well balanced. Yongi has a lot more parts as well, which is really, really cool to see. I feel like, I do really feel like this type of concept suits his voice better. So, that was that was just great, man. But yeah, I got slapped in the face like by reality. 
uh, yes, damn, I love them. That was freaking incredible. Anyways, uh, I cannot wait to get my album and it, oh, shit, should I get it to other versions? <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'll see you about that. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!